Welcome to Chicago Jazz Live, small group jazz from the city of Big Shoulders. Performances drawn from Chicago's deep pool of extraordinary jazz talent in an intimate setting. It's a house concert in a club, and I'm your host, Steve Rashid. Most episodes of Chicago Jazz Live are live on tape. In other words, they were live performances in front of an audience, recorded and then later broadcast on the radio. Well, tonight is different for a couple of reasons. First of all, other than our crew, there is no live audience. And secondly, as you are hearing this, I am standing on stage in Studio 5, actually live. Luckily for all of us, I'm joined by our talented guest for the evening, vibraphonist Thaddeus Tooks, who you hear right there, and his musicians and dancers. Dancers on the radio? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. We haven't yet brought uh, live audiences back to Studio 5, so we wanted to bring Studio 5 actually live to you. We are thrilled you are listening to us live on the radio, and we appreciate the support you give to our host station, WDCB. WDCB, Chicago's radio home for jazz, provides the means through which our particular programming at Studio 5 receives a wider voice on this show, Chicago Jazz Live. So thank you to WDCB. And by the way, you are also able to watch this show online right now. Did I mention that we have dancers? Now you get the idea? Details for how you can see us right now can be found at studio5.dance slash live. Again, that's studio5.dance slash live. Our online viewers can interact with us, leave comments and questions via chat room, and we'll have access to a second online-only set by Thaddeus Tukes once the radio program is over. We'd like to quickly thank the folks at Manassian Rug Company at 1244 Chicago Avenue in Evanston for providing rugs for our Studio 5 stage. Details available at manassian.com. Well, our show. Thaddeus Tooks has been on my radar screen for some time now. The Chicago Tribune says this young musician and composer, quote, brings poetry to the vibraphone. Listen to that. He's a fellow graduate of the Northwest University School of Music, Go You Virtual Cats, where he pioneered the first degree in jazz vibraphone studies and is now taking the Chicago jazz scene by storm. Tonight he's joined by Sam Pilnick on the tenor saxophone, Mike Frazier on the sousaphone, Alvin Cobb Jr. on the drums, Jada Rose is your modern jazz dancer, and Sterling Harris is a tap dancer this evening. I will come back. I will come back. Did I mention this is live? I will come back later in the hour to talk with our artists, but right now I'm turning it over to Thaddeus Tooks presenting Let's Vibe, an interactive virtual experience on stage at Studio 5 in Evanston, Illinois for Chicago Jazz Live. You feel it, you feel it, you feel in a vibe. You feel it, you feel it, you feel in a vibe. You feel it, you feel it, you feel in a vibe. You feel in a live, you feel in a live. You feel it, you feel it, you feel in a vibe. You feel it, you feel it, you feel in a vibe. You feel it, you feel it, you feel in a vibe. You feel in a live, you feel in a live. You feel it, you feel it, you feel in a vibe. You feel it, you feel it, you feel in a vibe. You feel it, you feel it, you feel in a vibe. You feel in a live, you feel in a live. You feel it, you feel it, you feel in a vibe. You feel it, you feel it, you feel in a vibe. You feel it, you feel it, you feel in a vibe. You feel in a you feel in a you feel in you feel in you feel in a you feel in you feel in you feel in a you feel in a Thank you. 
Thank you. 
You're listening to Chicago Jazz Live, small group jazz from the city of Big Shoulders, featuring Chicago's great jazz musicians in a live, intimate setting. I'm your host, Steve Rashid. Tonight's performance is actually coming to you live from Studio 5 in Evanston, Illinois. We are grateful to our host station, WDCB, Chicago's radio home for jazz, and the means through which our particular programming at Studio 5 receives a wider voice on this show, Chicago Jazz Live. So thank you to WDCB and all of you listeners who support them. And by the way, you are also able to watch this show online right now. You, uh, If you're not, you missed some uh, yoga. Details for that can be found at studio5.dance slash live. Again, that's studio5.dance slash live. Our online viewers can interact with us, leave comments and questions via a chat room, and we'll have access to a second online-only set by Thaddeus Tukes once the radio program is over. We will respond to audience comments and continue the party. Well, once again, we'd like to thank the folks at Manassian Rug Company at 1244 Chicago Avenue for, for providing rugs for our Studio 5 stage. We get to perform art on art. Manassian sells fine, antique, and modern oriental rugs and provides rug cleaning services, too. Details at Manassian.com. Well, tonight we feature the talented vibraphonist Thaddeus Tukes. As I mentioned earlier, Thaddeus has been on my radar screen for some time, and I'm delighted that we were able to find a date to welcome him to our stage, and I must say that he embraced this concept of a virtual concert with enthusiasm and creativity. At Northwestern University, he pioneered the first degree in jazz vibraphone studies. Thaddeus is a Luminarts Fellow, Vivian K. Harsh Society awardee, and president of his new record label, Vibestown Studios. And tonight he's joined by Sam Pilnick on tenor saxophone, Mike Frazier on the sousaphone, Alvin Cobb on the drums, Jada Rose and Sterling Harris are your dancers for this evening. If you're a regular listener to this program, you know that each week on Chicago Jazz Live, I spend a little, t- little time on stage talking with our artists, and it just so happens that I'm already here. So welcome, Thaddeus. Thanks for having us. I'm really, really excited that you're here. And I got to say, this is as much fun this, as this is to listen to. It's, it's just as much fun to watch. And it's just uh, as much fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are a delight, every one of you. Um, you know, tell me a little bit about tonight's format. This is very, I mean, it's unusual for us. And one of the things we love here at Studio 5 is mixing media. Mm. So the fact that it's, it's music and dance is, is wonderful. So just tell me a little bit about how you arrived at this and this particular instrumental lineup. Nice. So, again, thank you for having us. Uh, we're really enjoying this, especially, you know, it's not a lot of live music right now, or at least a space where we can be in the same place and play music. So it feels mm-hmm. really good to be here and make music with these people. Good. And art, you know. Um, so I've kind of been uh, interested in researching in kind of the remarrying, if we will, of dance, jazz dance and jazz music, um, mm-hmm. especially if we go back to the 
uh, origins of the music and the formation of the music. And a lot of it was tied to dance kind of organically. Sure. Um, and, you know, the, na- the, the dynamic of the concert venues changed and made it harder and in some cases illegal to dance in those spaces. So it's a, a blessing, honestly, to be in 2020 and still be able to have uh, jazz dance and jazz music married. Um, this format is something I actually did at the 2017 Chicago Jazz Fest. Aha! Uh-huh. Uh, that was the first time uh, put this sort of show together. And, you know, we had dancers, we had graphics, that sort of thing. Um, and it, it's been kind of challenging to do this show again because mm-hmm. it's such a, as you can see, involved um, production. Yeah. But... Uh, uh, luckily, we're we're here today. Uh, if you notice, uh, people who are watching and listeners might hear on the radio, I actually have a sousaphone right. instead of a bass. And you might be wondering why. In fact, um, when, you know, in the ni- early 1900s, when Louis Armstrong and the crew, you know, first arrived in Chicago, and it was really before Louis Armstrong, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but... During that time period, it was actually, you know, more popular to have multiple tuba players in a big band instead of an upright bass. Sure. And it was actually in Chicago where the upright bass started to replace the sousaphone. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've been blessed and I met Sam and, well, I already knew Mike, but we reacquainted ourselves um, through a marching band that we've been doing at oh. protests. At Northwestern? Uh, no, in oh. Chicago. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> that would be insane. But uh, no, <laughs> marching, a marching band that like jazz cats in Chicago have kind yeah, of put yeah. together and we've been trying our best to um, repackage our skills to promote, you know, a community and peace in our, you know, and uh, empathy and conversation in our community as well as uh, helping maintain the energy of the people who are working tirelessly to advocate for the people in the community. Right. So this format to me is just very time uh, specific for me right now as well as very Chicago, especially yeah, to hear yeah. a vibraphone and a sousaphone in the same ensemble. How often do you get that? Well, right. I mean, that was one of the things I wanted to talk about. I mean, you know, sousaphone, as, you're, as you said, goes way back to the very beginning of jazz. Right. And... Uh, and you know, and and it it really reminds me of New Orleans, and, right? And you know, and and the, and the and the second line, and the all the you know all the the early New Orleans brass bands mm-hmm. that um, that f- did have a sousaphone in it, but yet vibes was something that came to jazz much later through Chicago. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah. You're right. It was actually the Musser Factory in Chicago that kind of is that right? The the vibraphone in the way that we know it today. Oh man! So, Can we talk about this later? Yeah, yeah. Because I want to. Sure. I want to talk more about this, but I don't want to take too much time now talking about this. So that's a that's a little teaser for anybody who wants to stick around for the second set. But Sounds that's good. fascinating. That's really fascinating. And and that was the first thing I thought of was we're going to the very beginning of jazz, and then we're going mm-hmm. to one of those instruments that was adopted later in the in the in the era. Yeah, you know, it wasn't. In fact, I was thinking about how. How you know if we if you and I were to like pick an instrument like piano or trumpet or drums, we could spend the rest of the hour just naming names, right? You know, but <laughs> right. vibraphone is a different thing. I mean, right. I mean, I grew up. I mean, I've been in jazz my entire life, and I I I just sat down without thinking. And I said, all right, I'm going to name all the vibes players I can think of, and I got mm. to like seven or eight, and then I was out. It was like, mm. oh wow. There are, I mean, in terms of well-known, and I'm not a vibes player, so, you know. I mean, I it's definitely not. I think there are significantly less vibes players than there are most other, you know, jazz instruments. Right, right. Um, but you'd be surprised at how many there actually are. Huh. How, what, what, what about the vibes drew you? Is that, well, long, is that a long answer? Uh, no, I can make it short. Uh, <laughs> Lionel Hampton. Yep. Um... Chicago Symphony Orchestra had a percussion scholarship group, so I was already playing percussion instruments. Uh-huh. Um, Stefan Harris Blackout Ensemble at PASIC in 20, whenever I was in fifth grade, I guess 2005, wow. something like wow, that. Wow, wow. Um, and I feel like a spiritual connection to the instrument because the ways that I have heard it used, mm-hmm. I feel kind of reflect 
well, my personality reflects that a lot. I would mm. say sometimes I could be in your face and like the leader of the band and other times I'm trying to hang back and just play. Right. Um, and I feel like the vibes can be in your face and, and MJQ and then right. it can be Milt Jackson when he was right. with Dizzy Gillespie's big band where, right. you know, he's just accenting things. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. The vibes have kind of, I've dabbled with a few instruments, but the vibes have kind of stuck with me. Well, it does bridge a gap because I know you also play drums and you also play piano. And Correct. You know, all in the percussion family, right. but Vibes does kind of like, it, I mean, it's physically placed on stage for those of you who can see, drums, Vibes, piano. I mean, it really is kind of like that right in the middle between those instruments. Yes. Yeah. Well, listen, can I come back in the second half and talk to you a little bit more? Because I've got, now you have me thinking about many other questions. That but, sounds great. Um, but let's just get back to some more music. Let's do one for Chicago. Oh, I love it. All right. Thaddeus Tukes. Thank you. 
You've been listening to Chicago Jazz Live, this week featuring Thaddeus Tukes in a program called Let's Vibe, an interactive virtual experience. With Thaddeus Tukes on the vibes, piano, and vocals, Sam Pilnick on tenor saxophone, Mike Frazier on the sousaphone, Alvin Cobb Jr. on the drums, and Jada Rose and Sterling Harris were the dancers. Chicago Jazz Live is created by Steve Rashid. That's me, and is produced in partnership with WDCB, Chicago's radio home for jazz. Tonight's show was mixed by Sam Fishkin. Our video operator is Dan Letchinger. Chicago Jazz Live is distributed through PRX, Public Radio Exchange. Thanks again to the folks at Manassian Rug Company at 1244 Chicago Avenue in Evanston for providing rugs for our Studio 5 stage. Manassian sells fine antique and modern oriental rugs and provides rug cleaning services too. Details at Manassian.com. And by the way, our piano is courtesy of our friends Dan and Christy Robinson. Many thanks to them too. The radio program is nearly over, but the party is not. Our online viewers can stick around for a second online-only set by Thaddeus Tooks and watch the dancers. Details for that can be found at studio5.dance slash live. Again, that's studio5.dance slash live. Viewers can interact with us and leave comments, questions, and engage in Vibes trivia via a chat room. So please be careful, stay safe, be well. Thanks to our artists, and thanks very much for listening.
Broadcasting from the campus of College of DuPage, this is Chicago's home for jazz. 90.9 FM WDCB, Glen Ellen, Chicago, and 90.7 FM WRTE, Chicago West Loop. Streaming online at WDCB.org.